Hey guys, Johnny here from Ecomex SEO. Should you have your brand name in your SEO title of your Shopify store? Just quickly, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below or head on over to our free private Facebook group where we've got plenty of great discussion going on over there about Shopify SEO. Now, we get this question a lot from clients and students about whether you should have the brand name in the SEO title for your store, your collection pages, product pages, etc. Many Shopify themes append the brand name by default on the end of an uh, SEO title. And what I mean by that, uh, most of you probably already know, but here we are on a just a test store, a, uh, a product page. And if we hover on over the, um, the browser tab, we can see that uh, it's got product to dash and then at meta and that's actually the name of the test Shopify store. So that app meta or the SEO, the brand name has been appended onto the end of all the SEO titles. So um, that's on every page. So Shopify page, the home page, the product page, collection pages, etc. Now it's not necessarily a bad thing, but you just need to consider if and when you should use that. Now, it's if you want to remove it, it's not a, a big deal. You can come into your theme liquid and you search for title in your theme liquid and you've got your, um, between the, the title tags, um, you've got your SEO title liquid code. And if we scroll to the end of this, we can see that uh, the shop name there, whoops, on this particular theme, a uh, shop name is actually uh, that's the section where it's appending the brand name to the SEO title. Now, every theme's different. Uh, some, you know, you might have already done some customizations to your your title tags. So uh, this is I'm not going to say this is how it works for every single store. But you, if you look for shop dot name uh, that in your between your title tags, um, that's more than likely the section that's actually creating the the uh, brand name at the end of your SEO title. So you might need to either ask your developer or uh, play around with it to to if you want to remove or add that shop name to the end of your SEO title. Um, that's not really the point of this video. What I wanted to do is just talk about if and when you should actually use your brand name. Now it's pretty simple, and um, we'll just go to a Google search. So here we've got uh, a Google search: essential guitar pedals. So if we scroll on down, you can see here we've got, this looks like a, um, a blog and you can see the SEO title here. They've got the blog name appended to the end of that SEO title. Uh, if we scroll on down, we'll see whether we can find, uh, here's an article here, um, SEO title appended to the end of the, t the, so the shop name appended to the SEO title, the end of the SEO title. Um, and you can, if you scroll on down, we can see some more here. So these are all blogs, so they're not, they're not Shopify stores, but, um, but you get the idea. Now, having a brand name at the end of the SEO title is not a bad thing. It's certainly, if your brand name is like it's a, a brand name for your particular store and you're trying to get that brand name out there, get some more exposure and actually um, have some um, some push for your brand name. And that's going to help by having it um, at the end of your SEO titles. What you want to be a little bit careful about is when you're your URL or your store name is is similar to um, either a certain product or a, a collection you're trying to rank. So it might, for the, I'll bring over my notepad actually and make it a little easier. So let's say your 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 URL is guitar pedal guru, and and your black and then there's a, you've got a product which is black guitar pedal, and then what Shopify is doing is appending the brand name guitar pedal guru because that's you, you probably have set that in your shopify homepage settings um, for your store name it's going to append the store name to the end of the seo title so we've got black guitar pedal guitar pedal guru and then we've also got um, guitar pedal guru as our url so then i've just created what would be the uh, a product url so now you've got guitar pedal guru.com slash product slash black guitar pedal so you've got guitar pedal pedal in the URL twice, which you probably, you know, in this example you would get away with because guitar pedal is actually your brand name. But then if you go and have your have guitar pedal in the uh, SEO title, and then uh, that, or Shopify automatically adds guitar pedal guru um, and pens it to the end of your SEO title on every page. You're just you're just risking that you're going to increase the the density of, of Guitar Pedal Guru throughout your entire site. 
and you're at risk of over optimization for that particular word and and we would be looking at certainly guitar pedal um, would in this example would be over optimized and and also would guitar if your store name or your url was um let's say we'll just make up something black mojo which is like a brand name um, and you're selling guitar pedals then now it's less optimized and this would end up being black mojo so now you're less over optimized than what you were, were and now you've just got guitar pedal once in the seo title so in that example um it, it's going to work fine but if you have an exact or partial match domain you just want to be a little bit careful so that's an example where you might want to remove the brand name from your seo titles in shopify now it does need consideration i mean there's, there's plenty of google updates rolling out all the time we certainly saw in may in the may google update 2020 that um, seo titles that were over optimized so had a key term in them twice actually suffered a little bit so um, in this example if this was we'll go back to uh, guitar pedal guru this has got guitar pedal in the product uh, seo title twice um, this possibly would have been suppressed so just need to be a little bit careful of that that's why we like to do it if you've got a, a generic brand name um, it's fine to have your brand name in your seo title um, and you can increase that brand exposure if you have a partial match or an exact match domain for your core keywords you just want to be a little bit careful and consider how you get whether you want to remove the uh, the brand name that gets appended to your seo title um, and a lot of stores do it like i say straight out of the box so you just got to check that um, and it can be one of those things that can hold you back if you're not careful okay i hope all that makes sense thanks we'll talk to you in the next video